thank you for downloading and clicking on this or viewing it, what have you, on YouTube. This is a fly pattern I call the curly tail. It was originally an Orvis fly called the curly tail bunny and was tied with zonker strips. I'm going to change it up a little bit. It's a little more craft store friendly if you can acquire the items. This is a huge producer of largemouth bass and the most recent snakehead I caught was on this pattern. So without further ado, let's start this fly. We're going to take an Orvis bass hook. I'm not sure if you can get these anymore. I just had to call up Orvis and order a whole bunch of them. They are the 8810 one knot bass bug hook. Super freaking sharp. First thing we want to do is put on a weed guard. So I'm going to take a piece of wire. This is craft store bead threading wire. Cut off a piece. I'm going to be using Danville flat wax nylon. One, one ten, what is it? 100 yards of 210. We're going to start that, and it sounds funny because I'm holding the wire in my mouth. And just wrap that back. This fly needs to sink, so I'm also going to take a little bit of lead solder. I'm going to wrap that up the shank. It's a fairly simple pattern to make. only requires a few ingredients. Like I said, it's terribly effective. I've used this in farm ponds, used this on the river, tributaries, lakes, etc. Now it's got a little bit of added weight. So next we have to add the tail, which makes it the curly tail. These are Wapsie brand fly tails. I get these from Urban Angler. Richie orders them for me. You can also get them from the fly shop in Redding, California. That's where the black one was from. All right, that's simple enough. Next, we need a hackle. This is some synthetic stuff. I can sell it to you for a dollar a yard. I'm not giving away all my secrets. Just double it over, wrap it down, Fold it back over that little handle. Again, I'm always using that regal vise because it holds the hook in place. Next, let's take some purple estaz. Wrap that down. Wrap towards the eye of the hook. There, we're going to tie on some eyes. These ones are sort of realistic looking. Just want to crisscross it here. Whoa, hey now. And crisscross it there. Give it a little bit of tension. You don't want those eyes to wobble too much. All right, now we're going to assemble this pattern. We've got the S-Taz. We're going to wrap that forward. I've already pre-measured out a length I need, but looks like I've got some extra. You've already realized my patterns of time, they're not too complicated, but they're effective. I don't want to be spending all my afternoon tying, you know, 32-step flies. Okay, we got that. Let's take our synthetic hackle and wrap that forward. It'd be nice to you know, tie some pretty cool, crazy looking stuff that's all uh, fancy looking, but my flies are simple and they catch fish and you know, we're gonna lose them anyway, so why put so much effort into them? Okay, tie that over the eye, give it a little tension. Pick up your scissors, which you're not really supposed to put down on fly time. Now the fly is pretty much done. Let's zoom in a little bit. Take a look at that jammer. All right, now what I'm gonna do while we're zoomed in is take that wire, we're gonna bend it, get a nice loop, put it on the opposite side. It's wrapped on this side, so what I wanna do is tie it in on that side and just wrap over your wire. And that is gonna make a weed guard. Pretty much here we have to deal with spatter dock. Spatter dock is a nasty um, water lily member and it's very fibrous. Clip that off. All right, a couple more wraps just to cover down that little piece of metal. Now we're going to half hitch, hold the bobbin in your left hand. Let's zoom de zoom de out. Half hitch, twist, two, three, slide over, pull. One, two, three, and pull. And that is the curly tail fly. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Scratch that, reverse it, we're not done. We're going to put on some rubber legs real quick. So we got these grizzly legs, let's cut them in half. We're gonna do two on each side. So we're gonna lay down two right here. One, two. You thought I was done. And two on the other side. One, two. Give it some tension, lock them down in place. Now that fly is done. Okay, now we're just gonna half hitch right over the eyes because we were tying behind the eyes. 
there you have it. That is the curly tail fly for freshwater fish. We're going to fold that little weed guard over and hopefully now it's going to work. There you go. Curly tail. Next up, we're going to do a Helgramite pattern. Any questions, any patterns you want me to tie, you can find me online at www.robsnowwhite.com.